Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Math School Learn to Succeed. In this channel, I'll be teaching you Karnataka Board Class 10th SLC Insert Math. In today's video, let us solve the question number 5 from exercise 10.3, chapter number 10 quadratic equations. In my previous videos, I have solved the examples and the questions from 1 to 4 related to these exercises. If you have not watched that video, please find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So before we begin our video today, please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I will be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math. Question number 5 from exercise 10.3, chapter 10 quadratic equation says, In a class test, the sum of Shifali's marks in mathematics and English is 30. Had she got 2 marks more in mathematics and 3 marks less in English, the product of their marks would have been 210. Find her marks in the two subjects. Okay, this question is very much similar to the previous question which we solved, that is question number 4. So here, what they have given, the sum of Shifali's marks in mathematics and English is 30. Okay, Shifali's marks in maths and English is 30. Okay, they are saying sum of maths plus English is 30. Now, we have to find marks in maths and English. English okay so this is what they have asked so whatever they have asked us in the question we have to assume it to be x value since we have to find the marks for both the subjects so we can find out the marks of maths as 30 minus if we subtract from the total marks marks of English then we will get the marks of maths similarly when we want to find out the marks for English we can take from the total 30, we can subtract the marks of math. So, we will get the English marks. Okay, so this is how we are going to assume in the question. We will take one of the subject to be x and to find the marks of the other subject, we will subtract it from the total marks. Let us write down, let Shifali's marks in maths be equal to x. Okay, so therefore her marks in English will be 30 minus x since they are saying the sum of both the marks is 30. So again, if you see the question, had she got 2 marks more in mathematics? 2 marks more means if we add uh, plus 2 marks to the marks obtained in mathematics and if we make 3 marks less in English, the product of their marks would have been 210. Okay, so first of all, let us write down, had she got two marks more in mathematics? If she had attained two marks more in, in maths, then she would have got the previous marks in the maths was x. So, x plus 2. Similarly, three marks less in English and three marks less in English. What was the marks in English before? It was 30 minus x. Now they are saying again 3 marks less if she would have got. So 3 marks less means we have to subtract minus 3 marks. Okay, so this will be how much? 30 minus x minus 3. So this will be what is 30 minus 3? We have to subtract this and we have to give the greater number sign since 30 is greater. So 30 minus 3 will be 27 minus x okay this will be her marks after subtracting three marks so now they are saying the product would have been 210 now, the product of maths and english marks would be now 210 so let us write down according to the question the product means we have to take multiplication okay so product of maths marks and english marks is 27 minus x will be 210 this is what is given in the question now we have to simplify this equation and find out the quadratic equation and then we can find out the marks in the individual subjects that is maths and english okay so now let us multiply first x term with 27 minus x so x into 27 minus x plus 2 into again 27 minus x is equal to 210 so what is x into 27 it will be 27x then minus x 
into plus x will be minus x square then since plus sign is here plus 2 into 27 so 7 2's of 14 carry 1 2 2's of 4 plus 5 it is 54 and plus into minus will be here minus 2x is equal to 210 so now here we, we have plus 27x and minus 2x so we will subtract the terms with greater number sign since 27 is a greater number we will get positive sign so 27 minus 2 we will get as 25x minus x square plus 54 is equal to 210 so here since negative sign is there for the x square term so we will send these whole three terms to the right hand side so we will get 210 so minus x square will become plus x square plus 25x will become minus 25x and plus 54 will become minus 54 now e we are equating this whole term to 0 since we have to obtain a standard form of a quadratic equation such as ax square plus bx plus c and that should be equated to 0 so that's why we are equating this whole equation to 0 so we got here as x square minus 25x so let us subtract 210 with minus 54 okay so this will be carry 1 so 10 minus 4 it is 6 again it is 0 here so carrying we will get 10 minus 5 as 5 and 1 is left over so it is 156 so we will get plus 156 since 200 is the greater number so it is plus 156 is equal to 0 so now we have obtained the quadratic equation so now let us apply any of the three methods like uh, the splitting the middle term or a quadratic formula or by using completing the square method we can find out the roots for this quadratic equation so here let us use the method splitting the middle term so comparing with the quadratic equation let us find out the a b and c value so a value will be 1 that is coefficient of x square then b is equal to 25 and constant c is 156 in splitting the middle term we, we will not be taking the signs only we are going to take the coefficients okay of a b and c so first we have to find out the product here product is what a into c so here what is a value it is 1 into 156 is equal to 156 and sum is equal to b that is nothing but 25 so now let us factorize 156 in such a way that we obtain two factors whose product will be 156 and sum will be 25 so let us factorize 156 you will get 2 7s are 14 carry 1 2 8s are 16 2 3s are 6 carry 1 2 9s are 18 2 3 1s are 3 3s are then since 13 is a prime number so we get 13 one time so we got 2 2s are 4 4 3s are 12 so 12 into thir 13 is nothing but 156 so we are going to club the factors in such a way that we get 156 okay so 2 2s are 4 4 3s are 12 so 12 into 13 you obtain the value 156 and and we will take sum 12 plus 13 is equal to 25 so this is how we are going to split this middle term 25 so let us write down x square minus the sign will remain as it is so instead of 25 we will write 12 plus 13 into x plus 156 equal to 0 so let us open the brackets x square minus 12 into x again minus 2 plus will be minus 13 x plus 156 is equal to 0 now let us take common between these two terms and these two terms so if we take x outside we are left with x minus 12 and now again let us take minus sign here so 13 if you take common 156 can be written as 13 into 12 so if we take 13 outside as common we will be left with again x plus into minus will be minus 12 is equal to 0 you can observe that x minus 12 11 and x minus 12 is common here so taking out common as x minus 12 again so you will be left with x 
minus 13 is equal to 0. So equate each of these brackets to 0. So x minus 12 is equal to 0 and x minus 13 is equal to 0. Now let us send minus 12 to the right hand side here. So we will get x is equal to 12 and x is equal to 13. So now what did we assume initially x to be the marks in math. So when x is equal to 12 marks in maths is equal to 12 and marks in English. What was marks in English equal to or we can take a 30 minus x. So what is 30 minus 12? It is 18 and similarly when x is equal to 13 then marks in maths is 12 and in English it will be 30 minus x that is 30 minus 13 which is equal to 17 okay so this is the result so this is how we solve this problem number 5 if you have any doubts please comment me below in the comment section in my next video I will be solving the question number 6 from exercise 10.3 chapter 10 quadratic equation so till then please like my video and subscribe to my channel thank you